All right, what's up? It's Saturday morning, 1042, afternoon, morning, whatever you want to call it. And we got a Yankees day game, day baseball. I don't know, Jake. Are you up? Are you excited? Yesterday, I think both you and I were both pretty down in the dumps. So have you re have you regrouped? Did you wake up with a fresh start? Yeah, I'm I'm okay for now. Um, still two more games in this series. I I think I will probably do a complete 180 and snap like a twig um, if they lose this game. And that's a little dramatic, sure. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like the patient mom right now that's like, well, I, you know, I, I know who my son is and I believe in my son and I know he's a good boy, but he's been being an idiot for like three weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does one more bad thing, I'm just going to snap. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. Okay. I like that. Well, um, temper should have cooled a little when you saw the lovely lineup today. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's good. We brought out Trent's A squad today. <laughs> the Yankees lineup is as follows. Brett Gardner's leading off playing center field. Aaron Judge is playing right field. DJ LeMay, he was in the three spot. I actually like this move. And Glaber's behind him in the four hole. After that, strap in, folks. You got Bird at first. He looked pretty bad yesterday again. You got Clint DHing like that. Oh, boy. We got Mike Talkman. Who's Mike Talkman? In left field, you got Higgy catching day game after night game, so it makes sense. But it's still, but what? And then you got Tyler Wade playing second. So on the bench is Luke Voigt, Austin Romine, and Urshela, who put together a good game yesterday. I got, I mean, it is what it is. We're hurt. 12 guys hurt. We are hurt uh, spiritually, emotionally, literally. Um, yeah, man. It's, I mean, it's wild. We're a little over two weeks into the season. And, I mean, Higgy is our third string catcher. Tyler Wade. We know the story. Talkman, we don't know the story, really. We want to know the story. Tell us your story. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's wild. I mean, I, I could see, I mean, outside of the judge guy, I mean, I think people would want the White Sox lineup today. <laughs> yeah, for a while, for a while, we've been saying, hey, our, like yesterday we said, oh, not the best lineup, but still I'd take it over the White Sox. and I. I agree with that. But today, I'm taking the White Sox lineup over the Yankees lineup. And it, I mean, it's just pretty wild. Um, Give us the White Sox lineup real quick. The White Sox, similar to yesterday, Lurie Garcia, Tim Anderson, he looks good. Jose Abreu scares us. Yonder Alonso, e Moncada, Eloy Jimenez, welcome, welcome to the big leagues. Gets his first two. Yabos against us last night. Wellington Castillo in the catch, and they close out with Rondone and Adam Ingle with an old friend on the hill, Jimmy Ivan Nofun. Ivan Nova. Uh, no one has a lot of at bats versus Nova. Actually, the DJ LeMayu has good numbers versus Nova, Jade. He's five for nine. Five for seven. I apologize. Five for seven. That's like pretty that. good. Contact are... pitcher, contact hitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, then the no one else says anything. Bird over three, Gardner over three, Judge over three, Higgy over two. Urshela was one for two, but he's not playing. Not that a one for two should sway it. I just think Urshela looking good at the plate yesterday should have swayed it. Um, but whatever. Nova's been pitching. He had one really good start, seven innings pitched, one earned run, and then one terrible start, two point one innings pitched, seven earned runs. So let's do another one of those, Ivan. Like, just for old time's sake, just be a fucking friend. Yeah, CeCe's like his old mentor. CeCe got him his first suit. They were talking about that story the other day. And 
they actually, it was pretty funny. They said like Nova sent this like long detailed text message when he found out it was CC's last year. And he's like, man, you know, you got, got me my first suit. You don't know, you know, what you'll, you'll mean to me forever. And CC just responded with like, didn't expect this from you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, English. <laughs> uh, th thanks CC, I guess. CC's uh, probably done that. For, CC's probably done that for a ton of players that he doesn't realize he's done it for. Cause he just naturally is super nice to any young guy that comes up. Yeah. That's like his whole thing. So. And, and Jimmy, this, this probably should be my what to watch for, but I think we're both going a little emotional with our what to watch for us today. Cause it's that point of the season. Um, last year, Nova was pretty solid. Um, he he pitched what twenty nine games started for the Pirates one hundred sixty one innings. Um, he had a four one nine ERA, so he was just solid. Not a ton of strikeouts, one hundred fourteen and one hundred sixty one innings. But I think the reason that they went Wade um, and they went Talkman and Birdie still in the five hole is that lefties batted two eighty eight with an eight thirty five OPS against Nova last year where righties batted 250 with a 707 OPS. So OPS of over 100, 130 points higher against Ivan Nova last year. Okay, do you have me? I got you now. Okay, my internet is doing terrible things. But anyway, I don't know if that's enough for me to put Wade and Talkman in, Jake. I mean, I, I, it, it's nice that there is some numbers there, but I don't know if that's enough for me to start Wade and Talkman ever. I told you this yesterday. There's a lunatic bin on, right. on Yankees fans, right? Everyone's allowed to have one toe in the lunatic bucket. Sure. My big toe is in the bucket labeled Tyler Wade will never hit major league pitching. I, I, right. I've dipped my toe in that bucket and he's going to need to yank my foot out because I'm not bringing it out myself. Like I, yeah. everyone's allowed like to go it down one lunatic Avenue. And I snapped this season. I don't think Tyler Wade will ever hit major league pitching his swing. His arms are always full extension. It's just ridiculous. So I know that I'm being irrational, short-sighted. I know all of that, but I'm telling you, you can have one, you can have dip a toe in a bucket of your choice. Mine is in Tyler Wade can never, ever hit big league pitching. Yeah. And I mean, that's a safe bet for sure. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you've seen me around, around the roulette table and I, I'm not always the safest bet kind of guy. And Jim, I, I don't know. I, I hope, you know, Tyler Wade's still 24. He had a very, like, as bloopy as a hit as he could his last game. Um, you know, I there's a 1% there's a world where that blooper goes down and Tyler Wade's confident and he starts playing baseball. And maybe he could be a bright spot during this <laughs> mini dark period of Yankees history we're currently in. Uh, yours is, again, the safe bet. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They, they were going to have to play Talkman and Waiter at some point. When you've got splits like that, roll them out there. Yeah, we'll see. We got CeCe coming back, which is emotionally very nice. Now, I like CeCe. I've been defending him forever. I think he was a really good five, fifth pitcher last year. I've done the stats a million times that back up that claim. He's like, what was it, six out of 20-something starts. He allowed more than three. Or, no, it was like four starts out of – I've done it so many times. He was good last year. If yeah. you're still if you're still fighting that, I can bring you the stats, but I don't remember them right now off the top of my head. But so emotionally I'm excited to see him out there. But um my brain's telling me like don't expect much. It's his first start back. It's probably gonna be a four inning outing, even if he's grooving. Yeah, and Domingo's supposed to follow him. Um barring Barring something dramatic, um, CC somehow doing you know six innings with sixty pitches or something. Uh, Domingo, because they they had the off day, is essentially supposed to follow CC. So I mean, we could even see three from CC. We could see four, depending how he's looking. Um, and then you might see Domingo come in for kind of a 
a potentially a super relief role, which which could be important to this game. We'll see. Yeah. I am excited. I hope like we just get like a fired up. There's give me one CC fist pump. Yeah. None of the White Sox have great numbers or a lot of at bats versus CC. Well, there's some numbers there. Uh, Wellington Castillo is he playing? See on the White Sox? Yeah. He hurt. He hit a home run versus CC once, three for eight, and no one else more than three hits versus CC. Uh, he pitched against them twice last year. Six innings pitched, three earned runs. Five point two innings pitched, one earned run. So. That's that's too good. I'd take both those outings in a heartbeat right now. No, in such an easy way. Yeah, it's um, Jim. It's a little scary. I mean, there's I I just know there's a couple times when you see just a good right-handed hitter, and you know CC at this point in his career can't strike them out necessarily. So you're a little worried about how that at bat's gonna go. Uh, Jose Abreu, I'm circling that. Um, he's he's a stud. And then uh, Eloy Jimenez, man, the the rook, the rook who got paid, gets two homers yesterday, and then you know CC on the bump today. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, we're holding our breath through everything at this point. We're holding our breath through six batters in our lineup. We're holding our breath when the White Sox are up uh, the whole time. Yeah, it's not that fun to watch right now, but we we watch. What was I going to say before we get into what to watch for? Had one more thing I wanted to say. The defense. I would have liked Urshela at third. I mean, I know DJ is a good glove too, but I think Urshela is better at third and DJ is better at second. And CeCe's the softest contact pitcher in the MLB last year. And a lot of ground balls. I saw them bench Andujar when CeCe started and stuff like that. So that could be why Voigt gets a day off today and Birdie's in, but it's probably the lefties thing. Um. I don't know. What's your what to watch for, Jake? What are you honing in on this game? You know, yesterday I was honing in on grimaces and hit by pitches, and then Judge yeah. gets hit by pitch and grimaces. Yeah. Motherfuckers. What did you think of that? I didn't like any of it. There you go. Um, they played in a fucking blizzard. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, the void at bat yesterday. I mean, the pitcher stepped off the mound four times, and then Chad gives up two, and they decide to call it. But – we can't uh, can't relive that. That's just literally how the season's been going. My what to watch for, Jim? A, a little bit of play on words, a, a little bit of emotion. I mean, it's Judgment Day. We, um, Jim, depending, you mentioned having your toe in the crazy bin and and however you want to look at it, Jim. Depending on some of Yankees' Twitter, <laughs> we have six guys in our lineup today that shouldn't be everyday Major League Baseball players, whether it's you think Guardy's old or Bird's garbage or Clint can't play defense and then kind of the AAA guys at the bottom. Um, I mean, two, three, four today, Judge LeMay, Hugh Glaber. I labeled my what to watch for Judgment Day. Um, boy, could we use the big guy today um, in, in a big way. And if they pitch around him, I mean, then that is what it is. And LeMay, Hugh, and Glaber have to have, have to have really good games. So, um and obviously, Judgment Day, classic movie. Um, but if the Yankees lose today, they lose another series, and they've lost five straight, Jim. And it would be, if they were to lose today, we're now digging for rock bottom and seeing where we land. <laughs> I, what if what if they lose, but no one get? What if they lose a well played game and no one gets hurt? Just digging for bottom still. We're already there. Now we're just seeing where we can set it. It's like an almost like a nice result. Hey, I know we lost, but we played a clean game. Yeah, tell yourself no, that in a couple hours. <laughs> and Jay. no one got hurt. So Tell yourself that in a couple moral hours. Moral victory. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is CeCe giving up like a five spot in the first. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, my God. I was so miserable yesterday. Sure. So miserable. So yours is Judgment Day. My what to watch for is the um, Talkman Higgy Wade. Ivan Nova, do you think he laughed when he saw the Yankees lineup? I think he was excited. Honest, honest reaction. Like if we had a camera on Ivan Nova when he first saw the lineup, I think it would be heartbreaking how happy we would see his face. When Ivan Nova you know, months ago was mapping out the season and said, all right, my third start's going to be against the Yankees. This is not the team he thought he was going to face. Talkman Higgy Wade. 
Talkman, Higgy, Wade. Let's see if they get four at bats each, <clears throat> 12 at bats. If they get on base twice, are you happy? Um, they'd have to do so much to make me happy, Jake. Okay, happy is the wrong word. They'd have to. What's your expectation? That's that's the right word. One hit between the three of them. Four at bats. Twelve one for at, twelve. One for twelve between the three of them is my honest is my honest expectation. Okay, where are you I, happy I don't, with? I don't even think that's trying to be funny or trying to be too mean. Right. I think that's like very fair. Okay. Do you disagree? I mean, that's that's low expectations. That's I mean, that's all of these guys kind of batting under one hundred is a little below the norm. Um, I don't know, man. Let's let's see some fight. Let's let's see a slap ball. We've seen Talkman Talkman get a couple ugly hits. Higgy, he's got he two what? hits. He's got two hits. Yeah. Yeah, and he hasn't played in a little while. I, I, you, I need more than that. Yeah, get get on base. If, if <laughs> get on by base three times. How about that? Three times, and you're happy between yeah. the three of them. Yep. One seat, so all, each three goes one for four. Oh, uh, I mean walks and stuff too, James. So I, I don't know, and maybe one of them can have a day. Mike Talkman, prove if us, they, show if, it. So we've got two hits this season from Talkman, three from Wade, and zero from Higgy. Higgy hasn't had a chance. Higgy hasn't played. If they, if they combine to score two runs. No, oh, now you're going runs. I don't know. Yeah, that's all. That's fine. I don't care what they do. But it's like, like Urshela and Clint and who was it like yesterday? Was it Urshela? It was Urshela, Clint, and Romine combined for two runs to be scored. I think. So they weren't a problem. So I need Higgy, Wade, Talkman to put piece together a rally somehow. We just need to win. Yeah, but this is my, what I'm watching for. I'm watching that they right. three contribute. Okay. And going, if they all get a hit, but it doesn't lead to runs, no, I'm not happy. I need them to contribute. And I honestly don't think they're going to. I think it's going to be... Very awful. But we'll see. Talkman hasn't played in like three weeks, so why would you expect anything? Because when he has played, he's not good. Let's go to the Homer draft. Some fun stuff. Yesterday, no one got a Homer, Jake, so we are tied on this series. Yep. Still, you get first pick. You cannot take Bird or DJ LeMahieu. Those have already been chosen. Yeah. Um, Got to go Glaber. Um he he was really on Giolito's curveball. I, I had a tweet about that, and he, people weren't fully understanding what that means. But he could he was reading the pitches really well yesterday. Um, Giolito, I'll save it for the full podcast. There you go. Um, Glaber Torres, we need him. He's bad in cleanup, Glaber. Okay, well, I get to take two now. If you don't know how this works, I took Judge and Clint. Yesterday, so I cannot take them. I cannot take Glaber. So let me go look at this fun lineup. And um, <laughs> hands are kind of tied. Yeah. Can't take – I mean, I, I feel like these are my only options. I'm going to take Bird and uh, – <laughs> I can't take Clint. I uh, can't take Glaber. I can't take Judge. So I can take Gardner, or I can take Talkman Higgy Wade. So Gardner, Talkman Higgy Wade are my options right now. <laughs> I'm going Higgy. He uh, nice. his first hit, his first hit of his career was a home run last year, and then he hit two more right after. Jake thinks he's going to win the home run derby if he was given the chance. Uh, Yankee home run derby. Coming second, I, I think. Top five, I said. Top five. Easy. Um, <laughs> you think he's got a nice home run swing, bottom line, so I'm going Higgy. He's got a good batting practice home run swing. Um, so I, I'm excited for you. I'm excited you got to use that as reasoning today. Um, I am going to go with Aaron Judge. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned in Judgment Day. 
Uh, Judge and Glaver, man. Come, come on, boys. All right. Next up, the over-under. Yesterday, the over hit easily. In seven innings. Today, we have an over-under of 10, Jake. And I am hammering the over. Uh, give me the under today. How wow, about uh, CC C- 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 does his job and Domingo comes in and looks looks good. Whoa. I think we just got big news. Fucking no, we didn't. Hubs with the Jacoby Ellsbury error is over on a quote tweet of Brian Hoke. So I thought they did something, but they just gave Jacoby Ellsworth's locker to Urshela. So I apologize for getting excited. I thought there was big news. There's no big news at all. There you go. And that. <sighs> okay, I got to cue up the song for the outro, Jake. Do you have any final words? So you're, you're on the br- brink of snapping, which I'm kind of excited about. Yeah, I mean, you can you can play the injuries and bad baseball and bad luck. I mean, even with the rain and just some of the things that have happened. But uh, at a certain point, I mean, got to go. And that is the end of the show. Hopefully, we're back tomorrow. Things aren't so glum. But for now, lay ball. Sad times. Life is a ball game. Everybody.